Certificate of election here, and they are in order, so if you want to pass them down. Oh my gosh, it's like school. It's like school, <laughs> yes. So congratulations. Put that in a safe place. Uh, and then also your official oath is here. If you want to pass those down as well. No, this is yours. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Sorry, hang on. Are they in not there we are. Okay. <laughs> So if you will just uh, raise your right hand and if you all just want to read together, uh, uh, that would be, that'd be wonderful. Uh, I, Karen Chambers, have been elected or appointed to the office of Alderperson District 1, 2, but have not yet entered upon the duties thereof swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and will faithfully discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability. So help me God. Meeting is all over. Mr. Kevin Novi will lead the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. Next item on the agenda, approval of the minutes. Once the council's had a moment to 
review the minutes from the last meeting. I take a motion to approve. And the minutes are not included, so we'll catch those at the May 2nd meeting. Minutes will come next time. Approval of the agenda, please review that. Once the council's done so, we'll approve a motion to approve tonight's agenda. Motion to approve the agenda. Motion from Ms. Tebley, is there a second? Second. Second from Ms. Walters. Any discussion of the agenda? All right, all in favor of approving tonight's agenda, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried, agenda is approved. City and Utility Department head reports and concerns. Mr. Jason Glassman, or anything tonight? Thank you, sir. Mr. Dave <coughs> Fry is here tonight. No, nothing tonight. Thank nothing you. for us. All right. How are things in the parks? We're in the middle, third week of April. How are we doing? We are in the process of opening everything up. We have everything done other than water, and I'm stalling on that because I don't like where the temperature is going right now, especially with this coming weekend. I can't afford to have things freeze. So, Otherwise, things are moving right along. We're doing our transition over from snow to spring time stuff for what we'll do this summer. So actually, parks are open to the public, just no water yet. So, okay, and how are the new security cameras working? They're working great. That's great news. Thank you, Mr. Fry. Mr. Aaron Joyce, anything today? I will just report that since the last meeting, which was election night, or election day, uh, we did have a 47% turnout at the spring general election. It must have been, when you and I spoke about 4 p.m., it was 34%, a little bit of a late arriving crowd. A little bit, yeah. Okay. So it was steady. So a lot of people were in and out. So I think it was it was a good a good day. All right. Ms. Oliphant, anything tonight? A few housekeeping <laughs> items. So uh, I still need to collect uh, the old iPads and chargers from a few of you. A charger from Sue. Karen, iPad and charger, Mr. Culver, your new tablet and charger, and then Kevin, we need the iPad and charger, and Mr. Mayor, iPad and charger, and then once I've collected all of those, uh, including Carson's, we will issue you both tablets, the silver tablets that the other older persons have with the charger, and we can go over how to use them and where to find all of the information. Um, there are binders at your desk that have some information for you to look over to get started with. And then in the binder, which everybody should be aware of also, there is a, an upcoming, several upcoming lead trainings. It's the Government 101, which I think, Karen, you did it last yeah, year. I did. And uh, I think you had positive feedback. Yeah, that. that was very good. So that's available to existing and new older persons. Anyone that's interested, please let me or Aaron know when we can get you signed up for one of the dates. They offer virtual or in-person options. So if you go to the League of Wisconsin Municipalities website, there's a lot more information in there, but I did print off the sheet and put it in those binders for you to take a look at. Um, and that is all I have for today. Okay, thank you very much. So Mr. Culver still has in his possession a tablet that Mr. Chambers will use? Yes. Mr. McCarthy, would you please show Mr. Chambers where Mr. Culver lives? Okay. <laughs> he was he's the one who didn't want one and now look at him not wanting to give it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. All right, that was uh, Mayor and Older Persons Committee Commission Board reports and comments and or items to be discussed at a future meeting. Sue Fruit. That's nothing tonight, Mayor, thank you. You got it. Karen Tepley. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I have a few things from the library board. Um, I think many of you are aware that at one point the library was looking at either uh, a remodel on the building or possibly a new build elsewhere. Um, the company FEH has completed um, their findings and we do have um, one book at the library so if you ever want to go and see what what we went through and the things that could be improved at the library, it's there for you. Um, also, the um, South Wisconsin Library Service, which we are a part of that region, um, they are looking for a new representative from Merchland County. So if you're willing to serve in that capacity, let, um, let Martha, um, Martha Bauer at the, at the library know. And then, um, the Friends of the Library, um, Twice a year, they, um, they did a, a book sale, and it's always been a good turnout. 
and they are now thinking of doing that on a monthly basis, so keep your eye on their website and Facebook page for the dates for that. Um, circulation is up on uh, about 5,000, which is great. And they also have moved um, the computer lab from uh, just a small room off of the uh, main circulation desk out into the main area of the library. So if, uh, if you didn't know we had a computer lab <laughs> at the public library, we do. And um, I guess it's been noticed that there's a little bit more uh, group study and that kind of thing going on there. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. Nothing to report to me. Mr. Mark Chambers, please introduce yourselves. Tell the people who you are. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, my name is Mark Chambers. I've been a, a citizen nursing center uh, about, I think it's coming up on nine or ten years. Um, I live over on East Seminary Street, so if you ever need to get a hold of me, I'm over that way. Um, and I'm just happy to be a part of this part of this group and hopefully help out make some positive changes in the person center. You do realize the new guy washes the city council president's car. I heard that. Okay. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> That's that guy down there, I think. Right? That's how <laughs> no, <it's true. laughs> Wow. You are an education. <laughs> that was a good match. Okay. How many won't there? I have nothing tonight, thank you. Mr. Milby. Nothing tonight. Steve Downs, please introduce yourself and when you do, please lean into the microphone. Thank you. I'm Steve Downs. I uh, was just elected to the to the uh, city council, and uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Steve. Mr. Cairns. Nothing, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Items for discussion and action. Item two is to nominate and elect the council president. Would any member of the council would like to nominate an older person to be the council president? I would like to nominate Brian Cairns. Okay, Mr. Cairns has been nominated. Any other nominations? This is going to be an exciting election in the Senate here. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Cairns is a nominee. No other nominations? Okay, then I'm closing nominations. All in favor of electing Ryan Cairns City Council President, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Cairns, you've been elected City Council President. Item three appoints you. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> Item three appoints City Attorney and the nominees, Mr. Chris McGow. All in favor of, of confirming Mr. Chris McGow, City Attorney, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Mr. McGow. Appoint City Assessor, the nominee is Gretchen Jelenic. All in favor of approving Ms. Jelenic, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Gretchen Jelenic is approved. Appoint City Forester. Mr. Dave Fry made it very clear he would like to remain. He is the nominee. <laughs> All in favor of approving Mr. Dave Fry as City Forester, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Fry is confirmed as City Forester. Appoint the Emergency Government Coordinator. Very pleased after a long conversation to learn that Mr. Kevin Melby would like to fill uh, Mr. Culver's shoes in that role. All in favor of appointing Kevin Melby, Emergency Government Coordinator, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Melby, congratulations, you're confirmed in that role. Item seven, designate the official newspaper. Eric Olson came to me and said, how about the Richland Observer? I said, it sounds all right to me. All in favor of appointing the Richland Observer as the city's official newspaper, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The Observer remains the city's official newspaper. Okay, item eight, elect two council city uh, representatives to the utility commission. Okay, this will be voted on by the older persons. It's a little bit different deal here. So if any of you would like to nominate an older person to serve on the Utility Commission, please name them now. I'd like to nominate Steve Downs. Steve Downs has nominated Steve Downs. We have one nominee. Okay, any other nominations for the Utility Commission? We need two older persons on there. I would nominate Kevin Melby. Kevin Melby has been nominated. Steve Downs has been nominated. Any other nominees for Utility Commission? Okay, then I will close.
propose the nominations for Utility Commission. I guess we'll do it this way. All in favor of electing Mr. Steve Downs and Mr. Kevin Melby to the Utility Commission, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Mr. Downs and Mr. Melby. You are now members of the Utility Commission. Item 9, appointments to committees, commissions, and boards. All right. <clears throat> I'll do them one at a time. Finance Committee, the nominees would be Ryan Cairns to serve as chair, joined by Karen Tepley and Melanie Walters. Any discussion on that one? Okay, all in favor of approving the Finance Committee of Karen Tepley and Walters, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you, Ryan. Opposed. Okay, that one's approved. Public safety nominees, Mr. Melby as chair, Mr. Chambers and Mr. Downs joining him. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor of approving the safety committee of Melby, Chambers, Downs, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Good. Uh, that one is approved. Property Public Works, which will, we talked about merging them. There's some question as to whether they can do that. So this is going to be still two separate committees, but they're going to meet on the same night, and the nominees for both committees are the same three people. And they are Mr. Melby as chair, Mr. McCarthy, and Ms. Fruit. Any discussion there? Okay, so we'll do them jointly. But all in favor of approving the property committee, and the Public Works Committee, both comprised of Melby as chair with McCarthy and Fruit. Please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Okay, Tourism. The new nominee from City Council is Ms. Karen Tapley. And then from Citizens, we will have Dennis Fry, Lenny Schaub, Bob Hershey indicated late he called back today with a change of heart. He is not going to serve in his place. Nominee is Candace Fagerland. I'll point out that the downtown uh, is supposed to have someone on here. I haven't heard back yet from Christy Adsit if she wants to continue. So tonight that spot's being left open and either I'll hear from her or, or have someone else will do that one at the main meeting. But for tonight, Karen Tepley, Dennis Fry, Lenny Schaub, and Candace Fagerland. Any discuss here, discussion here? Okay, all in favor of approving the new members of the uh, Tourism Commission, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That carried. Okay, uh, ADA, uh, we're the, the citizens that are on there hold over. The nominee from, that's Americans with Disabilities, by the way, if anybody doesn't know what the letters stand for. The nominee from the City Council is Mr. Steve Downs. Any discussion here? All right, all in favor of approving Mr. Downs for ADA, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Ambulance Committee, Sharon Schmitz returns. The new member from in here is Mr. Tom McCarthy. You agreed that he would like to do that. Any discussion here? All right, all in favor of approving Schmitz and McCarthy to ambulance, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That carries fire. Mr. McCarthy returns. Mr. Steve Downs joins him. Any discussion here? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. McCarthy, Mr. Downs on fire. Natatorium, we will return Melanie Walters, who has been serving as chair, by the way. And the new member there will be Mr. Mark Chambers. Any discussion here? Okay, all in favor of approving Walters and Chambers to an editorium, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That's done. The Planning Commission, uh, Ms. Tetley was appointed last year to two years, so she'll still be there reappointing myself as chair and Mr. Ryan Cairns. Any discussion here? All right, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That's done. Tree board. Come on, some, who wants to go first? Come on, tree board. Okay, the, the appointees are Sue Fruit as chair, Mr. Downs and Mr. Chambers. Any discussion here? All in favor of approving, please signify by saying aye. 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 
Personnel, Madam. okay. Personnel returning. Walters is chair and Karen's new member, Mr. Tom McCarthy. Any discussion here? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Board of Review. Uh, myself, Melanie Walters, Tom McCarthy, Kevin Melby, Melby, Aaron Joyce with Sue Fruit as alternate. Any discussion here? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That uh, carries. New part board member, Mr. Mark Chambers, and reappointing from citizenry, um, Catherine Lewandowski. Any discussion here? All right, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Police Commission, Mary Coy enthusiastically wants to return. Any discussion here? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Mary's confirmed. Planning, both Ms. Fagerland and Ms. Miller, Ms. Candace Fagerland, Lisa Miller, both want to return. Any discussion here? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, thank you. Opposed? That was good. Rapid response team returned the same three. Myself, Ryan Karen, and Keith Bailing, who does want to do this. Any discussion here? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, redevelopment authority. Uh, Ms. Tepley's term has expired in her stead will be Mark Chambers. And returning from the public, Mr. Keith Bailing, Ms. Marsha Mahatka. Any discussion here? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Thank you, Ryan. Opposed? That's done. Housing Authority, <coughs> Mr. Carson Culver, who is with us tonight, has indicated a willingness to return. Any discussion here? Okay. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right, that's all of them for tonight. As I said, there will be, there is still one open in tourism, that's downtown, and if Christy doesn't get back to me or says no, we'll get somebody else, we'll cover that one on the next meeting. All right, uh, Finance Committee recommendations in action. Who's gonna take that tonight? That would be me. Okay, Melanie. All right, uh, so we had put out, the Parks Department had put out for bid previously, uh, looking for a new truck. Uh, we weren't able to get one because of supply chain issues. Um, Dave has now been contacted by uh, Holtz Truck and they have a uh, truck that he believes will fit the bill of what the Parks Department is looking for. Um, it is the 2023 Silverado 2500. Uh, it will come already equipped with a plow. And then part of the purchase agreement would be that they would send it and have a uh, dump box installed in it. Uh, the truck that, it's actually replacing two trucks. One truck has already been sold on Wisconsin Surplus. Um, and then the other truck uh, will be sold on Wisconsin Surplus once this new truck arrives. Um, we talked about it at finance, uh, the funding, the park outlay, had budgeted uh, 54,000 for the original truck that we were looking for. Um, they had also budgeted $8,500 for a new snow plow. Um, they have a balance remaining of $4,109 from uh, the weed eater purchase. Um, and then the previous, one of the previous trucks was sold for $5,500. And then um, we'll get the additional funds back once the second truck is sold. So um, my motion would be to approve the purchase of a 2023 Silverado 2500 from Holtz Motors equipped with a plow and a dump box in the amount of $64,245, which will come from the parks outlay budget. Okay, we have the motion from Ms. Walters. Is there a second? Second. Who was that? Mr. Steve Downs with his first career center. Welcome aboard, sir. <laughs> All right. Any discussion on this one? Okay, we'll need a roll call, Mr. Joyce. Alderperson Fruit. Aye. Tepley? Aye. McCarthy? Aye. Chambers? Aye. Walters? Aye. 
Melby? Aye. Downs? Aye. Karens? Aye. Motion carries. Okay. Item 11 is the payment of the bills, and while the council reviews the bills, which for the new folks look like this. I don't know if you have them in here. No, you have them in your, in your, well, I don't know if they have copies in front of them. All right, don't worry about it. When you have your tablet, Steve, I'll let Mr. Milby show you. Mr. McCarthy, show them to Mr. Chambers. Again, you'll have your tablets, I would assume, at the next meeting. But while you guys review those, I read this. To the Common Council of the City of Richland Center, Wisconsin, the matter of the bills presented on this day having been referred from the Committee on Finance and Budget and said committee, having duly investigated these bills, hereby make the following recommendation to the Council that the bills presented on this day be paid with the following adjustments and or exceptions. There are none. It is signed by the members of the Finance and Budget Committee. So once the Council has had a moment to review the bills, we'll entertain a motion to pay them. I'll make a motion to pay the bills. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, we have a motion for Ms. Tepley, the second for Ms. Fruit. Any discussion of the bills? Okay, hearing none, Aaron, we'll need a roll call. Alder Person Tepley? Aye. McCarthy? Aye. Chambers? Aye. Walters? Aye. Melby? Aye. Downs? Aye. Cairns? Aye. Fruit? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, next item, public comment. No council action will be taken on any matter originating under this item. Is there any member of the public who would like to address the council? Yeah, I will. Wait a minute, we need the microphone for this constituent here. <laughs> yes, sir, please identify yourself for the council. Uh, my name is Carson Culver. I would like to make a parting comment. Uh, first of all, I have enjoyed being on the council again, and uh, I think we have a fine council, and I think we have two fine people elected. Um, but I thought it would not be appropriate if I left without giving a philosophical speech, especially directed to Chris McGow, <coughs> to whom I've addressed a lot of the questions. And he can comment or editorialize as he wants. I heard just recently on the news that we are a nation of laws, which in the case of municipality would be ordinances. And I have to disagree. We are a nation of rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And the pursuit of happiness is actually an expansion or alteration that is derived from the original philosopher John Locke, life, liberty, and property. The Bill of Rights and the Constitution enumerate uh, the exercise and protection that is extended upon those rights. Now, I don't know if most people ever stop to think about it, but the Bill of Rights are actually minority rights. They are the original minorities of the nation. People who are in the majority don't need a right of free speech. People who are in the majority, don't need protection when they assemble. In this nation, there is no religion that forms a, minor, a majority. And the press is protected, providing it's not just working for the government. Second Amendment, the same way. Some people might think otherwise, but if you check the history closely of this nation, ownership of firearms has been a minority its entire history. And if you'd like to have that explained, I can do that. <laughs> and then, of course, we've added others on, and especially protection from the occupation of your property by military in times of peace and uh, due process when a person is challenged for breaking ordinances. When a government of any size neglects to protect these constitutional rights that are established, they are exercising perturbations in tyranny. The warning is especially 
true for small governments, which too often, being a small and familiar crowd, find it too easy to do the friendly thing to the friends they have in advantageous places. So I encourage all of you to have the courage. Defend the rights of everybody, the smallest and the biggest. And if that pinches you, well, that's part of the office. So good luck to all of you. I look forward to your success. Thank you, Mr. Fulber. Sir, did you have anything to add to that? Oh, no, he did fine. He did fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. So, okay, so Mr. Fulber, as I've already told you, and I will tell Mr. Wallace, we will have proclamations honoring your service at the next council meeting, sir. Okay? So I have Scotty, you're going to call me back or you don't right now. <laughs> but we'll do that at the next meeting. All right, I don't see anyone else that wants to address the council. So the next item on the agenda, is there a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting? Motion to adjourn. We have a motion from Ms. Tebley. Is there a second? Second. Oh, we have a second by Ms. Pinkard. Okay. All in favor of adjourning tonight's meeting, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, everyone. Tonight's meeting is... <laughs>